Using the saponification reaction, we will show examples on how soap is made. What is saponification? Saponification is the hydrolysis of an ester group in the presence of a hydroxide ion. The example we are using for the saponification reaction would be converting triglycerides in the presence of hydroxide ions to form our fatty acid salts, which are our crude soaps and glycerol. Triglycerides. Fatty acids are most often a part of a larger molecule called a triglyceride. A triglyceride is when three fatty acid residues are joined by a glycerol residue to make an ester and it forms a fat. In the saponification process, the ester bond is broken to form glycerol and soap. Fatty acid salts. Fatty acid salts are long chain carboxylate groups that include either sodium or potassium ions. The most common fatty acid salts range in size from 10 to 20 carbons and have an even number of carbons, including the carboxyl group carbon. Some common fatty acid salts include palmitic acid, which is found in palm trees, and oleic acid, which is found in olives. Soap is produced by the saponification or hydrolysis of a triglyceride. In this process, the triglyceride is reacted with a strong base such as sodium or potassium hydroxide to produce glycerol and fatty acid salts. The salt of the fatty acid is called soap. As you can see, there is a triglyceride, which is also known as a fat. It is also considered the acid in the process. There are many types of acids that will react with the base, such as olive oil, coconut oil, or vegetable oil. The triglyceride is combined with sodium or potassium hydroxide, which is the base. The base must always be composed of one hydroxide ion. For the most part, people use lye, which has one sodium ion and one hydroxide ion as their base. Sodium does not take part in the reaction at all. Sodium hydroxide is used to make solid soap and potassium hydroxide is used to make liquid soap. It forms glycerol and the soap, which is the final product. And these are the ingredients you can use. Oil, shortening, sodium or potassium hydroxide, and vinegar. The process. As you combine and stir the carefully measured acid and base together, they start to react and has a mashed potato-like consistency. Adding heat can speed up the process. The triglycerides within the acid release the single glycerol molecule allowing the fatty acids to combine with the hydroxide ions within the base forming soap. The reaction. As a reminder, the first reaction is the glycerol turning into beneficial glycerin. The second reaction is the acid and base combining to form a salt, which is your soap. And this will be our final product. These are some products you can get from saponification. If I have a fat and sodium hydroxide, not only will I make glycerol, but I will also make a solid soap. Also, if I have a fat and potassium hydroxide, I will make glycerol and a liquid soap.